Hey guys, how's it going? So a while ago, like maybe a year or two ago, I made a video on how to install mods for Castle Crashers using Sheet Engine. There have been some advances in the modding community since then, so I just wanted to make another video showing you how to install file mods for Castle Crashers. So, if we just go into the game right here, you will see everything is basically the same other than music, and I will link um, the cheat engine mods and the music mods in the description on how to install all those things. But yeah, if we could just go into the game here, you'll see everything is relatively normal. Um, yeah, everything's normal, everything's the same. It's just vanilla castle crashers. So now I'm going to show you how to install other mods from the game. So if we just go into Discord here, um, this is where most mods will be, or Flaming likes to put them in his descriptions when he makes them. But you can get basically almost every mod in Discord. I will link this server in the description as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's say you want the gesture mod right here. So if we just download that. It will say dangerous download every time you try to download a zip file. It doesn't matter. You just click that. And now it should be installed. So you open up your files and you want to extract this. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go to your Castle Crashers page on your library on Steam. You want to click this gear that says Manage. You want to go to Manage again, then Browse Local Files. And then it should pop up in your thing down here, right here, Castle Crashers. You want to open up the data folder. And now it depends on what your mod is. Some mods, well, what they should do is they will have all these folders in the mod itself of which ones they actually replaced. So if we go to the Jester mod, um, this replaces games and sounds. So if we just open up the game, what you want to do is you want to just control A and then control C, then open up the game folder in the Castle Crashers folder, and then just paste them. And then it's going to say it has um, files with the same names. You want to replace the files. Now, before you do this, if you have other mods like music mods installed, I'd recommend creating a backup of those because to uninstall this, um, you have to verify the integrity of the game files in Steam, which I will show you how to do later. So just replace them. And... Uh, now I'll replace the sound files, which are in this folder right here. If a mod doesn't have any folders, just assume it goes in the game folder. Damn, computers are weird. All right. Okay, now the mod should be installed and we can boot it up and see how it goes. As you can see, it's no longer Orange Knight, and you have now successfully installed the mod. Um, I will say, it will not work in multiplayer. No mods work in multiplayer unless everyone has the mod installed. If they don't have the mod installed, it will desync, and you'll be playing a game, they'll be playing a different game, and it gets all sorts of fucked up. So yeah, it's just different now, and you've installed the mod. Yeah. Now the sound mods we replaced are for a different character. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that this one was Hattie before and the sounds are different. Yeah. So, that's basically it. 
say you want to uninstall a mod, you just press the gear again, and instead of going to manage, you go to properties. Now what you want to do is go to local files and verify integrity of game files. Now, like I said, what you want to do is make a backup first of all the mods you have installed. So now that you did that, I'll show you it's now just vanilla. I'm sorry that's so loud. My sound files are uh, pretty loud. Okay. And yeah, as you can see, it's now vanilla again. And I'll show you, it just, it does everything. So let's go to Hattie and I'll show you his sounds or how they were before. Perfect. So yeah, that's basically it. In the description, I'm going to leave um, videos on how to install Cheat Engine correctly without getting viruses, how to I activate scripts using Cheat Engine for Cheat Engine mods and Castle Crashers, how to replace music and sound files, and the uh, the Discord servers for my music replacement server and my normal server, which has the mod I use in this video. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll I'll answer them. I see all of them, and I'll see you later.